everybody everybody we're back in the saddle I'm out here at a property where I put in an orchard a while back and the client would like some more trees so we're gonna work on that gonna go to my truck and I'll just have you guys tag along um, today's video I think will be beneficial for folks who are interested in putting in an orchard but uh, just haven't yet or thinking about it hopefully I'll give you some good ideas for what to think about and uh, yeah it's November here in Tennessee so it's a good time to plant all the trees are dormant got my trusty truck here ready to set to jet it's gonna be awesome but yeah just gonna get everything ready and head out there let's do it folks look at all the ice icy icy Okay, I'm dropping the trailer. Gotta get this frost off. Here's the orchard. A little bit after we put it in. Let's see, it's been about three months, I think. I think it's right. Got the trees in. Everything has gone dormant, but everybody's looking good. Looking good, good, good. All mowed in between. Awesome. Blackberries still have a lot of their leaves, actually. That's cool. Blackberries are looking good all the way down. It's a good spread there. And then next year they're gonna go boom. But they should get a pretty good amount of blueberries, I mean blackberries from there. Let's see, we got this. Got this whole row of raspberries that didn't do so good. Need to make sure they all get installed. And then of course, last row here. But they went ahead and cleared all this. This thing was not cleared out before. But right about there is where the trees started. So it's pretty crazy they cleared all that. Wow. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, trees looking good. So I'm surprised they still have the leaves here. But they'll be dropping off soon. So today we're seeing if we can put in another at least one more row down here get the same distance between the rows first we got to see if we have any fabric got to go get that fabric see if we can find some good news found the fabric that we didn't use so that's good got some good old-fashioned fabric <laughs> now we just gotta line it up here so boom we got that see the tr first row of trees is there this row here and we're gonna go right about here, but I have to measure it out and everything. We'll start at this tree, I think. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, should we put trees by this poplar? It's pretty close to the poplar. I'm not sure. Might not be a poplar, oop. Might not be a poplar idea, no pun intended. Actually pun intended. That poplar will be right there. I think we'll go ahead and run the row, but I'll tell um, the client that it's this close to that tree, and we'll go from there. Eventually this row will be all raspberries, it just hasn't all been planted yet. There was a shortage of raspberries whenever we came out here last time, but yeah, we have a really good row of blackberries and blueberries, and if we do another row, I think we can go ahead and plant. I'll ask the client if they want more um, blackberries or raspberries. Oh yeah, these buds are looking good. That's so cool. Woo! They're gonna have so much fruit and berries. It's awesome. So good. Actually, right here, we've seen that there are a bunch of wild blackberries. So this area does well with blackberries. And usually wherever blackberries do well, I mean, uh, raspberries and blueberries do as well. So, that should be good. And then a lot of trees as well, like uh, saplings. So, moral of the story is, what you see growing wild and naturally, generally the same types of plants, even if they're more cultivated varieties, will do well um, when you plant them. Folks, we're back to the land of awesomeness where everything is edible. 
Whoa, look at these. Wow. Blackberries, figs, fruit trees. All right, let's do it. We're gonna choose, first of all, 10 fruit trees. I'm thinking five apple, five pear, but I'll have to talk to the client, see what they want. And then also choosing some good old fashioned blackberries or blueberries. We'll see what we have more of. Covered them up. Sadly, I don't have my shade tarp. Normally I'd have a shade tarp, but I went ahead and used a tarp. Always gotta cover up plants. Even though most of these have their, their leaves gone, I really don't wanna run the risk of any kind of damage, wind damage, as I'm going to the job site. Back here in the saddle, we've got fabric to put down. I'm gonna put them down in the fabric first, and then we'll make sure it's all straight, staple it down, and then put the trees in. Actually, sorry, trees first, then fabric. Put those trees in, let's do it. I've marked all these out, 15 feet, from each other and the rows are 18 feet across. And uh, sometimes whenever I do my markings, I just put the dot is where the tree goes and then I'll put dots outside to where wherever they intersect is where my, um, or is where my spot is. Cause once I start digging out, that dot's not gonna be there anymore. And I wanna know exactly where the center of that tree is so I can keep the rows straight. Ta -da. Safe and sound, baby. It's time for you guys to find a home. I've got my helpers here. Shiloh is filming. Hello. And Malachi over there, can you film him? There he is, knocking it out, working hard. And then over here, that's Isaiah right there. He's knocking it out too. And then Shiloh is filming. <laughs> yep, so we're just digging holes here now. Just pretty simple. This whole place down here was like, you guys remember, right? It was like yeah. tons of trees yeah. and stuff. So it's pretty cool that this is now all of a sudden an orchard. Or just, that's why we're doing fabric though, because otherwise weeds will just shoot right up. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. And then- uh, It happened, even with the fabric. It did? Yeah, yeah. I did some. Like, but, like they came through the holes that we didn't fill up. I know, it's crazy. No, it'll get better and better though. If, if they hit, try to hit the mat, it'll just die. Yep. Because it doesn't get any water. Yep. Because the water just- Or sunshine. Out. Yeah. So. We're making progress here. I guess we're just dead Oh no, I see root wool. Good job, man. I see root right there. Yep. They're so tough. All right, let's push it around. Woohoo! Back to dirt, it's time to what the coast. What did you say? I like the dirt like flying down a oh, little big water coaster okay. and then a monster. Yeah, is it filming? Yeah, it's filming. All right. Okay. This looks good, guys. I think it's cool height. Like you have to fill up that, like that root thing, so it like it will grow better. Right, exactly. Right yeah. here. Okay, that's yeah, how big the hole is. What? Okay, now that's what we want to dig on. Guys, we're knocking it out. Back right there, we'll show you the plantings down there. We have ten trees planted. And then right here, this guy died. One way you can tell a tree has died is by scraping a little bit of the bark. See how brown that is? Uh, this looks dead. So, it is dead. So we're gonna pull it out. Let me get right here with my shovel, buddy. Just hang on it. Oh, whoa! You got it. <laughs> <laughs> He got, got it. it. He got it. Woohoo! All right. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. That Jeez. poor thing did not last. Looks like we got a little fun guy right here. Maybe it had a cut, and that's where it got. 
what? rotten. Maybe that's what happened, but it never, it never H really lasted. He was this dead. one did not live. Are there any live branches? That does no, not. No, nothing. This that does not. Dead. That does these not. These trees, two trees did not do good, man. We gotta replace them. Gotta dig a hole, buddy. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. I'm already doing it. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, we are finishing up guys We are replacing what died. I really think that these plants when we brought them in some reason those ones can You see my face? Yeah uh, Some reason those ones just died off well, That's no fun, but like I'm pretty sure they came in dead but uh, Yeah, so the plan for this area is they're trying to if they want to they can grow squash and beans or whatever they want to in between on the rows in between and it's the perfect width between the, the fabric between each row that they can go through it with the tiller they have on their Kubota tractor and um, get it ready for planting also they can mow it perfectly too so just a fun little little tip for you guys if you want to plant anything as far as orchard goes you do it the right spacing then you don't have to for, like according to your equipment, you don't have to worry about it. Whoa! Ow! It fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I think I did the wall. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can put fabric down here. Okay. okay. What do you say? You want to try? Sure. We have about 30 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. Can you throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Yum. Bam. Good job, sir. All righty then. Got our fabric here. We're gonna roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> here push it no no don't don't push it with your, the tip of your foot there you go or you can push it with the belt the bottom of your foot the bottom of your foot I'm doing, like well i'm doing this just try, try, try what i was telling you about see <laughs> works really good you think you're gonna make go 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 go, go 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 fast fast Woohoo! you got this almost done so the fabric almost made it wasn't quite long enough to reach to the last tree but it's pretty good and so we cut them all no we'll slide yeah okay guys mr. Isaiah is filming wrapping this up okay, I got to head out because I got a meeting at, at 3 o'clock whoa he's filming the Sun there <laughs> Sky. So, but let's turn around here. Let me show them real quick. We we planted some plants that were dead, and mm -hmm. now we we made another row, and we had to burn these holes with a super burner that can burn anything down except metal. Yep. But it can make the metal hot. Nice. And <laughs> he was making that line to make mm -hmm. it ev if everything was straight. And that's it. We but we were working like for five hours. Yeah, five or six hours. You're right. We knocked it out, buddy. See see how the all the rows line up. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's pretty. Like go right through there. But yeah, we got this done, and, we'll, and then uh, Brian's gonna staple the rest. Away from doing just I know. I need to, I need to wrap this up. All right, guys, we gotta go. Isaiah and I knocked it out. Isaiah, thank you, sir, for all your good help. Knuckles. You're welcome. Knuckles. Bam. That was awesome. Can I do it harder? Oh, look at that. Can I do yeah, it again? Yeah, yeah, come over here. Knuckles. Ah, oh, man. I want to do it harder. That didn't even hurt me. Here, here, here. Oh, man, man. This guy is tough. That oh, doesn't goodness. even hurt. <laughs> well, like well you're, baby hurting, you're hurting me. Oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. We're having too much fun out here, guys. Uh, fruit trees do well. 
Get ready to eat the apples, good sir, in like two or three years. <laughs> I love apples. Oh yeah, you do. Maybe I'll eat all of them in one morning yep. or one day. Yep. Okay, gotta go, gotta go. See you guys, thanks for watching. Bye, Benjamin. Catch you later. Wait, what? <laughs> You're right, I am.